You know the saying, when life hands you lemons, grab some sugar and make some lemonade. Well, that's exactly what Michelle Ntalami, the CEO and founder of Marini Naturals did when life took a turn for the worst. Although Marini Naturals came from a dark time of despair and troubles, Michelle, through hard work, resilience, dedication and drive, managed to turn her wheel of fortune around and pick up the brand to make it into the leading natural hair care line, not just in Kenya, but in Africa. She's been featured on CNN, been a top 40 under 40 winner on Business Daily, and she is building an empire that many at her age would not even imagine. Today we sit down with her on Top Job to find out exactly what it takes to build a brand from the ground up. Now tell me, Marini Naturals, mm -hmm. is that something that you always thought about or how did that come about? No, it's not. Mm. Um, so Marini Naturals is actually an idea I came up with four years ago. Uh, but before that, I've always been into branding and design. Uh, I had a, a brand agency called Brand Band Group, which is now sort of just on the chill because Marini has sort of superseded, you know, everything. Um, but Marini came to me, uh, it was an idea that came to me in 2014, mm -hmm. driven by a need to live a healthier lifestyle and just cut out chemicals and anything that's not good for my body. And funny thing, I, when I began Marini, this is 2013, I had a serious case of acne and I've never had acne. Really? Yes, and I've never had any skin problems. Um, also, at the time, I was going through a lot of stress because I, I had an ailing parent, so I think that contributed to that. But once I cut my hair and started using natural products and just like coconut oil on my skin, shea butter, my acne cleared. So for me, it really proved the fact that natural is best.